And we're back with some more Rimworld. And our little Power Ranger murder squad are doing really well. We have just so much meat in the fridge. In fact, we had to open up our second fridge over here just so we could store them all. Uh, we're currently still knocking out the research at speed. I want to actually upgrade Epilogue. I believe they've been with us for a while and after their close call with death, I think a few upgrades for them. It's appropriate. We should show our thanks for their uh, continued efforts. Anyway, there's a... a Bunch of stuff we've got queued up for them. Circadian Assistant, Stone Skin to Land, Bionic Heart, a Leg and an Arm. I mean, they're a transhumanist. We might as well make their dreams come true. Now, in the meantime, there's a few things we need to take care of. One, I uh, moved a few things around. Namely, there was a toxin generator over here. I moved it over there. Namely, it was starting to encroach on the prisoner area. And our prisoners here are immune to toxins, so they'll be fine. However, newer prisoners might not be. We scrubbed out the last bit and moved it, it moved it out of the way. So I think we're going to toxic this place just fine, but maybe keep the prisoners' quarters not quite toxic yet. Also, it's almost encroaching in on our crops. We're going to have to be careful as, about that as well. But more importantly, all these tox packs, when they degrade, it's... Where are you going? Are you just going for a wander? Where are you going? You are also going for a wander, and you are holding tox... Why would you go for a wander this far away from the base? You literally are... Like, you just want an infestation to happen while you're trapped in there. Is that it? Like, is that is that the plan? So if we just... I'm going to have to make it a zone and just zone you out of there. Anyway, uh, these tox packs, when they degrade, it turns out if they, there's not enough space for the insect infestation to spawn, not the regular infestation, the waste pack infestation, turns out they're completely different. If the waste pack infestation doesn't have enough space, no one's quite sure what that space is. Some say it's about a six by six grid is how big you need it, which we don't have here. So assuming that's the case, if it can't find a place where it's degraded, it will default to the center of the map. Unless that's occupied by something like your base, in which case it will just spawn right outside the walls. So what I'm thinking we do is we sort of wall this chunk in here so that all the infestations happen in this area. And then we make it so that our traders go around it to get in, but our enemies get piped through it. And that way we can sort of play the insects off the invaders. Potentially. It'll, we'll have to test it, get it to work. I'm sure there'll be some problems, but I got an idea. Something a little like that. What we're going to do is make it so that they have to come in here. This is not finished, but they'll have to come in here, zigzag a bit, and then get through to this section. And that's if you're a bad guy. If you're a trader, you won't want to go this way because it'll be the long route. We'll have to wall in some doors. And in theory, the trader should come down here and go in this side door, meaning they bypass this area, which should hopefully be full of really angry insects. That's the theory. We might have to hollow out some of this area as well. We need to give them enough space to spawn in. Hmm. I'm worried they might choose to spawn over there with this construction project, but we'll see. We'll probably put in some sort of kill box design here. And I'm thinking I want to use turrets. It would be nice to actually try out turrets. I have not used them in ages. They're still pretty terrible, but it'd be fun to try a few new things while we're here. There we go. That looks like it'd be awkward to get through. Now we just got to seal up a few locations. And we'll put in a wall segment there, there, and you know what? We can just wall that in there. In fact, hmm, you know what? Let's not bother removing any of those doors. We can just delete wall segments as we need to. That should mean the fastest way to get in for a trader should be to go around this way and in that door. But for enemies, they won't be able to get through that door, so they'll have to take the long way around. It's assuming they're not sappers. Now, if this doesn't work, we could always move this back a little bit. Uh, oof. No, I'm not sure. We might have to make a hole through a mountain. There's things we could do, but I'm hoping that what'll happen is this will spawn all of our waste pack infestations here, and then we can use those as a tool to smash up anyone that comes in and attacks us. Uh, where are you going? All in components. And why is it look like there's combat going on? What happened to you? Fleeing? What are you fleeing from? I missed something. Right, there's a spellipede right there. Spell, spell, whatever they're called. I think there was a cocoon left over here. Somehow it hatched, got out of here, walked the entire way through our base without attracting anyone's attention, and somehow got back here. I have no idea. Um, okay. We've got the parents inbound. Vaffel is also about to get over there as quickly as they can. Just, 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 you, come here. Come here. Yes, uh, I'm afraid, actually, I'm not afraid for you. I'm, I'm afraid you're dead. Yes. Oh, okay, kid. Sorry about that. Uh, go grab yourself some, some medical attention. In fact, let's just, let's just rest until he's over there for a second. Well, gets you some medical attention. Real sorry about that. Did not notice. How do you already have tending going on? What the? That 
How did it get that deep in there and how did I not notice? Drama aside, drama aside, our first crop of hops have come in. We'll replant another one and we're going to get our, our own beer production going on. Why not? It just helps people keep it in an even mood. And when it comes to our upgrades for epilogue, we are missing two detoxifier lungs. We are, yeah. We're also going to give the middle of the gene pack boost, so I should get someone out shopping to pick up some archite capsules. Well, look, it's toxic fallout. I think we'll be fine somehow. I mean, okay, we're going to have to bring some of our animals back inside and find some way to feed them, but, uh, hmm. We'll stick them in here in the kitchen. We don't really care about food poisoning anyway, so yeah. And then the elephants are currently out on the road with Alex. When we bring them back, yeah, we'll have to stick them in there as well. We'll have to feed them, but this lasts a maximum of 12 days and our people just don't care about toxic fallout. Uh, it doesn't bother them in the slightest. Now, where is it? Actually, you're going to have to death rest soon. Epilogue might be annoyed by that, uh, but they won't be going outside. In fact, they've been trapped underground for so long, they're starting to go a little bit stir crazy. But that's fine. That's fine. We're going to get them a whole bunch of upgrades soon. Ooh, a quest has come along that I quite like. Silent no reformer. All we have to do is get three detoxifier lungs to one location. And I think we can afford that if I could just get my hands on some more gold because uh, we can't make any more lungs. Yeah, they got enough gold we can buy. Oh, well, while we're here and we've got a little bit of free time because of all the toxicity outside, here's one of the kids. They are uh, sky dreaming in the middle of a toxic fallout. And you know what? They are just fine with it. Not a bother on them. Good genetics in that one. Good, strong, robust genetics. In fact, our entire colony doesn't care except for the animals. The elephants I'm going to zone in here that way they can eat some of the fungus now i know that's going to be competing with the uh the prisoner's food but who cares the juice boxes have done their job we are actually up to quite a decent stockpile of juice and yeah it'll be we probably won't be giving the kids their own death rest rooms at least well until we're we're picking some winners let's just say oh these conversion attempts don't worry about them i think Ec epilogue will be fine when it comes to that front they they're so infrequent that they're certainty recovers. They're never going to become a non-learner. At the moment, though, we are trying to put them together a few extra things like some detoxifier lungs, though we're going to sell three of them on a quest. Flashstorm, great. Uh, where is the flashstorm? Anyone? Yeah, I, th I think that'll be fine, except for the poor iguana. Ow. Well, sorry about that, buddy. Anyway, next up, I'm thinking, oh yeah, we're going to do take this quick quest. That means we're going to get a Silent Neuroformer and an Archite Capsule. We need two Archite Capsules. I haven't been able to find any in our local trade partners. So I'm thinking we grab this and we take them the nearby settlement royalty. Wait a minute, I think we just went there. Estimated travel time is 14 hours? Yeah. How is it 14 hours to get there? We're like... Whatever. That's your estimate. A quick fulfilling of that trade offer. Yes. Thank you kindly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, nope, don't want to attack there. Go back to Pandemonium. Now, wait, why did I do that quest again? Oh, yes, Silent New Reformer and the Archite Capsule, both of which will come in very, very handy. It's just your odds of getting a Silent New Reformer ever are incredibly slim. So anytime they come up, take them if the opportunity presents itself, because it's just, it's a free Silent, well, not free, but it's a Silent New Reformer, which, honestly, the quests are so rare, trying to get up to someone to up to level 6 just by doing quests for Silent New Reformers, would probably take you about a decade of in-game. It's time Epilogue got a promotion. Uh, after that last incident down here where she kind of got mauled by a bunch of those small little bugs, uh, I decided that maybe a few upgrades are in order. And by a few, I mean stone skinned land. 70% armor plating for sharp all across the body will definitely help. Also a bionic heart. Having a heart of steel in this colony seems like a good idea. Then two detoxifier lungs. We're going to redo their gene pack. So we're going to get rid of, if we can get rid of the toxic lungs and just have that built into them, it seems very appropriate considering, well, they are a transhumanist. They're going to enjoy having, you know, bionic lungs in there. Then we're going to install a neurocalculator. Increases the research, ah, the research speed by 20%. So considering their job, that seems like a really good idea. Also, circadian assistant, which will half the amount of sleep they need, or it drastically reduces their sleep requirements. That seems like they should be staying awake more and doing more sciencey stuff. And uh, then a bionic arm and a bionic leg. Bionic leg because, well, their left toe is missing. We might as well replace the whole leg. No point, you know, half arsing this or half legging it, whatever you want to call it. And the bionic arm because, you know, it just seems appropriate at that point. So yes, eight operations. Uh, hopefully none of them get botched, but I am not holding at too much. Well, 2% odds, so there's always a 2% a chance of any operation failing, no matter how good the conditions, no matter how good everything is. 
This place is completely sterile. There shouldn't be any issues. So one in fifty chance of each operation failing. We we got good odds. This good odds. This could go well. Oh, it's an eclipse, and a toxic fallout. Well, good thing we're not solar. We're running entirely on toxic. And done. Look at that. Stone skin gland, bionic car. Oh, yes. Their science is going to be incredible. All right, 407% is a little bit high. I think that might be to do with uh, they're currently experiencing a work frenzy, which is making them research everything faster. I probably should have waited for that to wear off before I operated, squeeze the maximum out of them, but uh, that should make for one incredibly good researcher. We just got to get them a new gene pack. For that, we need a couple of archite capsules. We've only got one in storage, but once we get our hands on a second archite capsule, we'll give them a slightly upgraded gene package. Just slightly. And a raid. Well, it's about time. What have we got over here? We have 44 humans. Hmm, delicious. You have one stack of grenades, mostly guns. Okay, not so bad. What type of raid is this? Prepare for a while and then attack. Yeah, mortar capable then. And over here we've got, what, do some of you have spears? There's 14 of you with spears. What is going on? Right, so nothing too dangerous here. It's just the sheer quantity of them. There's 52 over there, 44 over there. And, well, Vothel is actually down for a nap, so they won't be back up for another 22 hours. Hmm. Yeah, I need to come up with a defensive plan here. This is not really designed for dealing with this many ranged attackers, and we haven't put in any turrets. Well, we've got all of our pieces lined up. We've got three people on mortars, and one person, Alex, out in the field. Uh, Vothel is dead for a death nap, and Epilogue is down for some surgery nap. So right now we've only got four pawns and we have to kill, uh, how many was that again? Uh, 96 enemies. That's going to take a while. Like, that's just a lot of people to kill. I was considering putting the kids on mortars. Turns out the kids can't man mortars. Uh, who knew? They can, yeah, they can. I'm not going to, though. Their, their education is more important. So we're going to let them get their education in because, you know, sure, they'd be good on mortars and all that, but that's not, not what we're here for. We're here to train them up to be the best next generation. All right, over here, we are going to release the hold fire. Uh, we're going to fire mortar shells at this location. The reason I picked this one, they've got three low shield pops. If we can stop them or kill them, that would be much more preferable. This group over here is actually a lot more melee oriented. They've got 15 spears in here. I'm kind of okay with them having a few spears. Uh, this crowd actually, though, has grenades and stuff, and I don't want them anywhere near our kill box or messing things up because grenades can cause problems. So I think this one is the best one to target first. So Alex is going to start heading down this direction, along with three mortar shells. And in fact, here come the mortar shells now, and impact in three, two, one, and only two? Three human corpses? Yeah, I suppose we downed a few as well. Pity. All right, we'll let the, uh, the mortars keep firing. Okay, we're going to try and get in closer. I'm thinking invisibilize. Yep. Perfect. And then jump jet. I think some Berserk might be in order. Damn it, they're too spread out. Right. Berserk that one. Did he just... Wow, that guy didn't even hesitate. He's like, oh, you've gone Berserk. Stabby stab. Head cut clean off. Well, that's that's good to know. Uh, yeah, you can Berserk that one too. Ineffective. Let me guess. Hussars. Yeah, I hate that those guys just... Mm. All right, well, that's two of their low shield packs gone. Wait, did we already... Huh. Two out of the three dead? That's actually not too bad. All right, who to target next? I think we get a little bit closer and try and find a bunched up group to Berserk Pulse. Uh, we're... Sir, invisibility yet. Okay. Ooh. They look pretty tightly packed. And same here. Let's see. That might be nice. Yeah, that should gain us a few deaths. Now, the rest of you pile in. Oh, there's a grenade. In fact, if that's a grenade, I think we have a skip for someone. Come here, jump here. You, you're a berserker, right? We put you, right? Wait, 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 wait. Where did the grenade go? Damn it, I can't see where the grenade went. Fine, right, you know what? We'll, we'll stick him right there. I think the grenade went there. Uh, what the hell? Eh, never mind. That did not work out nearly as well as I was hoping. Okay, you, invisibilize again. I think you're going to get off one more berserk pulse and then we're out of here. Um, hmm. Oh, that looks super tasty down there. Yeah. Oh, Alex, move, move, move. 
Uh, the Outlanders are beginning their assault. No, they're not. No, they're not. First, they're going to kill each other some more. And then we are going to get out of dodge. Very, very quickly. Hmm. Yes, dun 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 dun. Uh, jump shit pack as well. Uh, mortars are inbound. You guys can come to the front line. We're going to need you all up here. Uh, there is probably our best bet. We're going to do a wait around the corner strategy. And we're going to take all the other parents with us as well. This is going to be a family day out. Well, except for the kitties. The kitties are not coming along for this. That would be bad. All right. Well, those mortar shots are a little bit late. And yeah, never mind. Uh, Alex, you need to get in there and we are going to close that door behind you. We want to make sure they're both closed. That should force them to go through this section. Now, I've been doing some numbers and I'm afraid that we're going to get a waste pack infestation shortly. Probably tomorrow. Uh, it seems that those waste pack infestations can happen once every 15 days from what I'm able to count up because that's what happened last time. We had two days of a pause or 15 days of a pause between one in waste pack infestation and the next. Oh, you guys can all come down here. But we're definitely going to need that scyther. Uh, this is going to be awkward. Uh, hmm. You guys, you're all staying over there. That's grand. And this crowd, how many of you are left? Uh, we've got 30 humans, but three of you at least are, are injured beyond movement. So that only leaves 27. And we just got to watch out for this nitro guy's low shield pack. And we should be able to make a mess. All right, then. We are going to lure them in here. And then we're going to be able to shoot across this diagonally if needs be. But I'm thinking what more likely we're going to do is we're going to set a scyther down here to hold the door. Uh, you guys might take the outside one, but you're not going to take the inside one. Yeah. We'll wait until they get into our kill box. Here they come. Time to start warming this up. Uh, invisibility on Groovy's mom. Perfect. They can hold the line. Alex, come forward a bit. We're going to want you to uh, brew up a storm. In fact, can you hit up the storm from here? No, you cannot. Damn it. Uh, from there, maybe? Just need a little bit of a storm started. And then back off. Yes, that's far more fun that way. Okay, so the lightning has started. Uh, oof. You know what? Get around the corner there. And we just have to keep an eye on Groovy's mom. Oh, invisibility is wearing off. Quick, 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 quick. Invisibilize them. Uh, oh, they're actually getting some shots off across the corners there. Nope, yep, that's fine. We will put some more people up there. Ow! I'm shooting. You know what? Uh, we need to get that low shield pop guy. I would like to grab them if at all possible. If we can grab that low shield guy out of there, we can buy ourselves some time. Alex? Damn it! They low shield pop themselves. That's... Mm. Fine. And uh, how's you looking? Seven seconds on your invisibility. That is crap. Oh my god, that is brutal. Uh, just invisibilize them again. And they can just sit in there in that lightning bolt chamber. That seems like a little bit too easy to shoot them down. This is fish in a barrel and I kind of like it. Alright, they don't have anything else they can really do to cause any more problems. Oh, the diagonal shooting is really annoying. Oh, that is annoying as all hell. Uh, hmm, hmm. No, I am not wasting an insanity lance on one of those Muppets. Uh, Euclid's mom is down, which is unfortunate. And that guy is still up, but... Ooh, shredded by mortar. You know what? We'll leave it. We'll leave it. I think we're good for now. We're just going to make sure that our, uh, our little shield wall here does not go down. That would be bad. So long as Groovy's mom holds up, we are golden. Is that a grenade? That's a grenade. Uh, Alex, do us a favor, would you? Groovy's mom needs to move. Uh, Groovy's mom needs to move back to there. Perfect. Now they can charge forward again. Ooh. Nothing like skipping a combo of other things to make your life just that much simpler. Okay, and this is only the first group. The second group has already started their assault, so we gotta mop this up and then move on to the next group. Okay, there we go. Hmm. They're gonna want to break out those doors, aren't they? We can open the doors for them. Oh, I think we kind of have to. Otherwise, we're gonna be spending ages trying to kill all of these, and we need to be doing prep work for our next kill.
We're gonna have Groovy's mom open the door, uh, and they should be able to hide around the corner. Come on, just a little bit more. And boom, they can just all run away. We don't care. Perfect, then Groovy's mom can come back in, and we can close the doors behind us. Bye-bye now, thank you for visiting. For this next leg of the fight, I've moved the Lancers back here. That puts them just in range of this section, and they can shoot through some of the walls. And that should help things along. Oh, you should pull back just a little bit for now. Okay. That seems like... Eh, okay. Seems to be working. Uh, Jamis can invisibilize Groovy's mom again. Uh, okay. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're attacking the person on the ground. Well, oops. No, 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 just go. You know what? I'm just going to leave you there. It's fine. Uh, everyone else can maybe tuck in just a little bit. We want to make sure we get the maximum amount of killing going on. And... Yeah, I don't think that corner is going to hold up much longer. Ooh, low shield pack. Damn it, I need to rip them out of there. Hmm. Jamis? No. Alex, yes. Alex can skip them. We just have to make sure Alex is holding fire. We don't want them doing anything that might set this off. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Well, yep, yeah, bound to happen. Okay, you are all shooting at that guy who's equipped with an LMG. Oof. Only one person's in range. Okay, at least it buys us some time, I suppose. I should really put down some barricades for them next time, but hey, you live and you learn. I think for now, what we're going to do is... Maybe just continue what we've been doing. I'm pretty sure the Lancers are uh, in trouble one way or the other, but I don't really care so much. Now, you still have plenty of Neural Heat left over, so Invisibilize. Perfect. Now, I want you to run down this direction. Ooh, Lightning Bolts can go through walls. That's um good to know. Go here, please. Death? Tasha's dad? Don't worry. We can revive them. They're not dead permanently. And, yeah, these seem to be wearing it and what they're doing. That's okay. That's okay. We are going to mm, do a Berserk Pulse, I think. Damn it. I need a better angle. But over there might be a better angle. And I'm thinking if we can get a Berserk Pulse off in there, it would make a wonderful mess. Oh, God. This feels like it's getting a little bit out of control. Uh, not going to lie. Uh, yeah, just uh, stand over there for a second. We're going to let them bunch up just that little bit more, maybe. Hmm. Thing is, we can't really use a Berserk Pulse down here without driving our Lancer bers or Scyther as Berserk as well. Huh. How much are they going to bunch up, though? If they bunch up enough, we might be able to do some fun stuff here. Like, they are really bunching up, like, tight. In that case, I want you to skip them out of there. And Alex, you are set to not fire. I'm going to get you to Berserk Pulse this location immediately afterwards. Yeah, right there should be good. Okay. Alex berserks there. Perfect. And then Groovy's mom can come back in. And that low shield pack is definitely proving to be an annoyance. It's fine. It's fine. We're still good. We're still good. Ow. Who's shooting Alex? I really need to improve the walling on that side. It's just they're able to shoot through there and it's kind of messing with this whole plan. In all fairness though, this was not a very well designed kill box. It wasn't so much a kill box as trying to have fun. And it kind of does work. Uh, we are pretty much out of neural heat unless you want to do a neural heat dump or go overcharge. You may have to overcharge your people just a little bit. Okay, how many of you were left alive? Too many. 47 humans? The problem with having such low damage counts. And we're running out of neural heat. We've got how much more left? I think we're going to have to retreat. We just can't hold this line. There's too many of them. 47 humans? Uh, we just don't have enough firepower. I think we'll buy ourselves a little time with an incendiary launch. Uh, that can go there. Uh, Jamis, I think we're going to get you to a Zerk Pulse over here. You can't afford it, so we're going to have to overcharge you. But I don't really see a way around that. Uh, Groovy's mom... You're staying behind to hold the line. I'm afraid you're uh, you're a sacrifice. Uh, Jason, you don't have anything you can use in there. We do have... Actually, no, we, that's the only Inferno cannon we've got going on is Tiberius's one. All right, Alex, uh, you are weapons-free again. And Jamis, 
Okay, what's it going to take for a Berserk Pulse? We're going to need 65 Neural Heat. We are nowhere close. We have 44. Um, removing the limiter. Sorry, buddy. You're going to overcharge. Uh, right there. No, 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 no. Uh, right there should be... There? Oh, man. Thing is, there, uh... You hold down shift, it targets the ground, but it also queues up movements. There you go. Perfect. Whew. Yeah, Janus has exceeded neural heat. Everyone else, start running. Uh, the incendiary thing has gone off, has it not? Yes, you have used it. Exit. Everyone, leg it. Everyone who can still let... Ooh, epilog. You're on your feet. Um, Draft up, buddy. Door is going to be closed for a while, I'm afraid. Everyone run. A bunch of them are going to kill each other. We're fine with that. We're going to retreat and hopefully buy ourselves a little bit of time. In fact, oh, Sonico. No, no, stay inside. The kids are all zoned inside. We're pretty much down to our last gasp of stuff. There's 43 left. We're still going to have to pass through here and burn it a little bit. Mm. All right, you. Go to there, Jason. Oh, this is a horrifying mess. And epilogue still, yeah, woozy as all hell, and not really very good for this. We're going to be falling back some more, I'm thinking. Uh, ugh. Still 41 humans left. Groovy's mom is now down. The rest of them are covered in flame retardant, so they're less likely to go down. And we've got 41 enemies charging towards us. Hmm. Don't really have a lot of options. And look at this. Psy focus is less than 50%. I've never actually used enough Psy abilities to do that. It's just we have so much neural heat to play with. Kind of works out that way. Um, mm. All right, you monsters. Bring it on. I think we've taken out most of the low-end ones. How's Waffle doing? Still got 14 hours left. We may need you shortly, buddy. Okay, we're going to need some focus fire on the ones trying to close distance. Actually, maybe capture a few? No, Insanity Lance. Insanity Lance is our best bet. We Insanity Lance some of their close combat people. Oh, great. They turned around and came straight for us. Well, that's one way to do it. And... Yeah, I think this is a lost cause. We've got to fall back some more. Even Epilogue's taking more injuries. Uh, you, buy us some time. I want you to insanity a couple. Preferably ones who are uninjured. Wow, most of them are injured. We did a pretty good job at injuring a whole bunch of them. Hey, you, uh, get insane. You, get insane. Perfect. Uh, then we're going to have you acid spray that one. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Jason, start heading back this direction. Jason, Jamis, Epilogue, I need all of you to start heading over here. Actually, just get around the corner for a minute. That guy's about to open fire. Okay. Oh. That got real nerve-wracking there for a while. Woo. Right. Uh, shoot as many as you can before they leave. I'm still pretty annoyed with them. They're going to smash open some doors, but... Holy Christ. So, it turns out when you've only got four people's worth of damage and some mechs, it's not enough to deal with 90-something people, even with all of our Psy Focus and Mortars and everything. That was... Okay, so Healy time, repair this time, and... Yeah, tomorrow on day 752, we'll probably get our next infestation, is, is what I'm thinking. Uh, we'll find out. That was a rather expensive fight. Uh, epilogue over here took a bullet to the brain. They now have a brain scare. Ah, uh, right, and we just sort of upgraded them, and now they've instantly got downgraded again. That's unfortunate. Uh, we're going to have to fix them up. Thankfully, we do have bioregeneration, so we can do that. Um, these conditions will be healed. Torso bruise, skull crack, head bruise, brain damage, mangled. Uh, 8.7 days, so... No, I'm waiting until uh, Vaffle's up. Once Vaffle is up and about, then we'll do it. Alex, where are you? You should be meditating. Uh, what are you on? No. No, 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 no. You were going straight to meditation, buddy. It's going to be meditation all day, every day until you're back on top. We need uh, 
uh, we need our psi focus levels at maximum, considering how low damage we have and how much trouble I've put myself in. I've kind of cranked my wealth really high because I wasn't too worried. I thought our team was just good enough. But this kind of makes me a little bit nervous. That was a lot of things going wrong all at once. All right, uh, Jason's going to repair these up. We are going to put them in some kill box areas, and I think we're going to do some reinforcements down here as well. This uh, enhanced kill area needs to be a little bit improved. I really should have used some more of these abilities. The remote repair sounds like it would have been interesting. Hmm. Or even the remote shield. Uh, damn it, I really should have looked more carefully at those. It's just I've never really bothered playing around with the mechanator too much, but I'm thinking for the next round that might be more important to actually shield our mech up front. Though I think it only, like, it gives it a nice big shield, but then the shield will slowly go down and you can't actually stop it or top it up until you've gotten, well, you have to actually stop the ability to recharge the shield. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I think we're also going to add some plasteel to the corners here. I'm thinking a few plasteel chunks might not, might, might help expand the life of this uh, corner killer. Mm, yeah, our enhanced kill box definitely needs some work. Anyway, for now it's time for Tash's growth moment. Oh, Tash's dad died as well. That, actually, no. Tasha's dad didn't die so much as Tasha's dad is currently offline. Tasha's dad will be back. Uh, this is a Tash here, and they are Tiberius as we won. So, we need to get th that kid to be the exact same as Tiberius. So, we want... Namely, mining. Mining is the big one. Uh, medical, intellectual, construction. Mining, medical, intellectual, and construction. So, mining. No. Medical, yes. Intellectual, yes. Uh, construction, no. Melee, I suppose? Ugh. Yeah, we kind of have to go with that. We don't want social. Social is actually one of our dump stats, in fact. Cooking, plants, animals, crafting, artistic, and social are all dump stats. So... Ooh, this could get awkward. Body modder, chemical fascination, creepy breathing, psychically hypersensitive, careful shooter. Oh, God. Like, body modder actually seems good. Yes. Also, Psychically Hypersensitive could be good if we decided to go the caster route with them. We've already got a lot of casters, but... Um, oh, that's two good choices, actually. Psychically Hypersensitive or Body Modder. While I was leaning towards more casters after our most recent fight, I think... I think since, they're, since their mom's a Body Modder, I think it's only fitting that they be a Body Modder as well. I mean, you can't always be all about the perfection of it. It's got to be like a little bit of a little bit of role-playing here and there. So they'll, they'll take after their mom. Okay, and not their dad, who's, who's currently... Actually, where is their dad? I think their dad's in the mech gestator. You know, we'll find out. When, when they come out, it'll tell us what their name is. Anyway, growth moment for Simon. Simon is Alex's sprog. All right, Alex, what have you got? I think social has to be their most important stat, considering they're our primary trader slash recruiter. So social, psychically hypersensitive type of stuff is what we're really looking for from their child. All right, let's see what you got here. Do you have social? Yep, we're going to knock that one out immediately. It's important. Mm. On top of that, we're probably going to want intellectual and medical. Well, medical, because while they're on the road, they need to be able to tend themselves. And intellectual, because, well, yeah, we also need researchers now and then, though. I don't think we need a researcher right this minute. Mm. We can have enough researchers for now, so long term, we'd like to give ourselves some options. You see, their mining, cooking, plants, and crafting are always going to be... Oh, and artistic are always going to be negative because of the genes they've got attached to them. So we need to spread it out and give ourselves more options to get stuff. So I'm thinking, yeah, we get melee. Hmm. Yeah, we get melee right here. Boom. Then down here, what do we got? A fast learner. Always... That's never a bad choice. Night Owl. Ugh. No. Misogynist. No. Wimp. No. Gourmand. I think fast learner is our only choice. This, the power of fast learner has been vastly degraded, though, because we get plus eight stats up for a bunch of things. So our shooting's getting plus eight. So a fast learner's not really great. All we need to do is get up to 12 shooting base. We get plus eight from the gene, so, like, fast learner, not really as good as it once was. Oh, well, uh, but all the rest of them there look, well, pretty terrible. So, yeah. They're a meh kid so far. Sorry, Simon. I didn't, you know, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. It's just, you know, the way it is. All right. Uh, Dash's dad's been trusted. And there's the other three growth moments. All right, this is going to take a minute, isn't it? Okay, Jamis, what's your stats for your kid, Euclid? We need you to be cooking, basically, and ooh, what I'd really like to do with this one is make them into a leader's caste system. Um, for example, 
like all the rest of them, I need their mood to stay pretty solid. So for that, I can't give them, turn them into religious leaders or colony leaders. That gives a, a minus 12 mood, or you need an extra 12 mood to keep them sane. So I'm thinking on Jamus's line, the whole Chewy line, we try and make them resistant to mental breaks so that we can turn them all into leaders without them all going insane. So like Iron Will, Steadfast, Sanguine, you know, that kind of stuff, throw all of that on them if we can. And then they can be like the, the, the cook leaders, you know, like, I mean, hey, Easiest way to a man's heart is to his stomach. Or, you know, with a monosword, whatever. Ooh, one thing we got to remember, though, we never found that cooking genetic, so they've only got the strong cooking gene. We've really got to jump in. And let's make sure we got the right one. Okay, Euclid is definitely the son of Jamus. Perfect. Okay, okay. Got it. So, you, cooking. Can you get cooking? Yes, you can. we got to immediately put a point in that. Then, after that, it's animals, medical, social. Yeah, okay. Let's not overthink this one. Iron willed. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ascetic. Mm, not quite so much. Lazy, bloodlust, depressive, tough. Oh, this is just too many good ones. Like, tough is just makes them incredibly tanky. Oh, damn it. Oh, normally I, normally I would just go straight tough because tough is just such a massive boost. Halves the damage. It's like a, it's, it's your S tier stat. It's the one that just is so useful all throughout the game. But I did just monologue about how awesome it would be to make them into a leader cast. So I'm going to go with Iron Willed. Like, I'm going to be slightly annoyed about it, but I'm going to take it. I'm mean, ah, just getting both of those in the same. Mm, never mind. It's fine. I, I just should be glad I got any of them. We could have got terrible stuff instead. So that works. Oh, damn you, kid. Y you, you better be like, we're going to make you the leader of the colony when you actually grow up a little bit more. All right. Now time for Groovy Beats. Waffles, kid. Well, in that case... The beauty of the Lunk line is in its simplicity. Melee, construction, plants, and animals. Ah, oh, right. Okay, kid, where are you? Oh, you're right in a field of mushrooms. Well, this is probably... Yeah, for your growth moment, I suppose it works. Um, okay, growth moment for Groovy Beats. Double check. Make sure we got the right color. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, grant. So, you, there's only four stats that matter. One of them is melee. Uh, yep, that would be great. The other one is plants, animals, and construction. Uh, so construction, oh wow, well, awkward. You see, crafting, shooting, medical, and intellectual all get negatives to them, which means this is just a wasted point. It, it doesn't really matter what we do with it. It can't overrate their genetics. So, for example, medical here has a minus eight to it, and it can never have a passion at it, ever. So even putting this point in should not do anything. Maybe? Hmm, I've never actually tried before. Guess we're about to find out. So let's just say medical, that's always useful, and uh, intellectual. Done. There you go. Oh, wait, sorry. Select three passions. Getting a little bit ahead of myself. And uh, no tough. That would have been too nice for our, our melee pawn. Well, that's two beautiful choices right there. Body purist, no. Body purist means you can't give them bionics. They hate themselves. Uh, volatile, that's just a straight negative. Uh, staggeringly ugly. Well, we're already there, I thought. And great memory. No, and uh, none of these really speak out to me except for psychically hypersensitive and jogger. Jogger on a melee pawn, excellent, means they get in closer and they're actually give, ups their dodge chances slightly. Uh, but psychically hypersensitive on a melee caster, yes, it's got to be psychically hypersensitive. If it was a choice between psychically sensitive and jogger, then I might think twice. But psychically hypersensitive, hell yes, it's got to be. Whew. Okay, that just leaves Sonico over here. Uh, their father's Jason and... ooh. Yeah, you're going to be our, our crafting. you you got to get construction, crafting, and art. Ah, it's going to be a tough trifecta to hit. All right, let's see. Let's see what the gods have gifted you. Randy, be, be gentle. Poor kid could use a break. All right, we've got no construction, no crafting, and we have no art. That's um, the exact opposite. What have we asked for, Randy? Okay, fine, fine. We'll just have to take something else. Intellectual shooting and melee, maybe. Okay, melee, shooting, and... Okay, well, your animals, your cooking, your social, and your plants are all going to be trash. Uh, plants, maybe? Will that do anything? You know what? Well, fine, we'll leave it as it is. Uh, bloodlust, psychically... Wow, well, that's, a, that's a good hypersensitive going around. Hard worker, yes. It's got to be hard worker. I mean... Yeah, 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 it's got to be hard worker. They're, they're going to be our crafter, so giving them hard worker is just a no-brainer. Psychically hypersensitive, always good. Bloodlust, always good. But hard worker, yep, yeah, I think that's what we're stuck with. So, uh, 
yeah, I think I'll call that okay. You didn't get any of the traits you need in crafting, construction, or artistic, but we've got you plus eight in all of those, so you'll always have a passion in those, at least one. It's not the end of the world, but it would be nice if you could get a burning passion. All right. All the child growth moments complete. Let's uh, immediately repair up our kill box. And, oh, epilogue, how you doing? Still waiting on Vaffel to wake up. Vaffel wakes up in an hour, so I think it's time we tanked you. Uh, begin the bio regeneration cycle. It will take 8.7 days. It will heal your mangled scar in your brain. Your mangled brain shall be healed. Cannot find two glitter world medicine. God damn. Oh, I need to go on a shopping spree. Once lungs up, we're going shopping. Oh, the toxic fallout has gone. Okay, we can put the animals back outside and we can start replanting stuff. Ugh, they're not the worst in the world when we've got this much resilience built in, like our people don't even notice. And we grow all of our food underground. But it is nice to be able to let the animals out. Ah, okay, okay. We've got a good thing that comes up here. Spectacle of insects. This guy wants us to provoke an infestation of hives at our base. Yes, I am hoping that it will spawn over here. Oh, two. To stop all of our cleaning bots going into this location, I built a door here, jammed it open, and then just set it to not allow. So now no one's allowed in there anymore. It's just the bots would like to come over here to, to wander. They'd like to wander at the farthest edges of the base in the hardest to get in and out of place imaginable. I don't know why. And we still need to let them in here so they could drop off the toxic waste. All right, but uh, unfortunately, caravan ambush from a bunch of pigs. Okay. Oh. Eight of them. That's a lot. That is an awful lot. However, it is Alex. They're short-sighted, but they can be invisible. They can jump jet around the place. They have access to berserk. I think... I think we can make their lives a living hell. Let's just zone the animals somewhere out of trouble for a minute. I know we could use the elephants for the fight, but we don't want to risk them. Getting them injured or damaged would be bad. So instead, we're going to use Alex to do most of the murderage. Now, it's a range on Berserk. Not enough. Okay, let's see. Invisible. Great, that should confuse them a little bit. Um, No, grab that one. Shotgun person first. Uh, berserk pulse. No, no, no. Just a regular berserk should be fine. That one now. Okay. Why would you stand there? It's just... Mm, I suppose you just see someone go invisible in that spot. And those two can start punching each other. We can... You know what? Let's fire spew someone. It's been a while. There you go. Burn. And then we can berserk someone else. Oh, they're throwing Molotovs at each other. That's always fun. Uh, you can... Actually, let's berserk that one. There you go. And you can all kill each other. And uh, that guy's on fire, so let's do him a favor and make sure they stop being on fire. Well, not that they stop being on fire. That they stop caring about being on fire. And there you go. See? They're no longer caring about being on fire. That just... <laughs> Hey, meatball. 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 <laughs> uh, who are you? Paul Pug? Oop, oop, oop. Some of you are getting way too close. How about you go berserk, buddy? There you go. You can go kill some people of your, of your own. And that's another one dead. <laughs> ah! I love how it's just absolute chaos and they're all murdering each other and Alex is just like la 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 <laughs> Ah, this is the wonderful thing about humans. Once they go berserk, they just fight to the death. There's none of that pause in her hanging around. They will just keep fighting until someone's dead. And there's one down. No, no. I think one of them's getting away, are they? Morlark. Yeah, Morlark can, can get away. You can send a message to the rest of the porkers that try and attack one of our colonies, or one of our caravans. Come on, there you go. Perfect. All right, let's get the caravan together, steal their meals, and get out of here. This caravan was dispatched to get our hands on some Glitter World medicine. We had to go up to the Royal City to get that, so the Exodus Empire have sold us the necessary Glitter World medicine so that we can fix the brain of Epilogue. Now, uh, Vaffle at the moment is catching up on all the plants that needed doing. Jeez, we have... We have a lot of raw fungus. You know what? Let's uh, unsuspend those packaged survival meals. We'll, we're going to need a few hundred of those. Oh, come on. Alex is just trying to get home. Stop ambushing them. The K-Packers this time. Right. But, oh my god. Twelve melee humans. We do have six elephants, so... Wait, where are we? 
Is this the same map? I feel like we're still on the exact same map we just got ambushed on already. It... What the... Ah, fine. Did we at least keep... How's Alex Neural Heat looking? Yeah, they're fine. They can definitely do some fun stuff. We'll send the animals back over to the corner again. And uh, we will take care of these the good old-fashioned way. Jeez. Maybe if we could bunch them up and hit them with one berserk pulse, it might be more efficient. I think that is what we're going to do. We'll wait on the opposite side of the river. We'll shoot the ones that come across. Okay. But I need you guys to bunch up some more. Okay, one down. Two down. Oh my god, Alex, you're a monster. Uh, in fact, let's berserk that guy there. And then while they're busy beating the snot out of that guy. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's jump back a little bit. Give, actually, no, let's berserk a second one. Uh, you can go berserk too. Um, what are we doing? We have Berserk Pulse. If you stick a Berserk Pulse right there, we can get an awful lot of them. Oh, yeah, I, I think that was the money. Right, uh, then we'll just pick off the ones around the edge that are not Berserk, and now uh, they're all Berserk, so let's just kill what remains. No, they're not. They're still Berserk. They're not going to flee just yet. Oh, wait, they're going to try now. No, 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 no. Keep killing them. Keep killing them. Uh, no, 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 come back here. You guys have been annoying me, so I'm taking your meals, and I'm taking your lives. Perfect. Right, we could probably do some hunting, but I think it's just time we left again. Seriously? It just, mm. Well, 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 if it isn't an insect infestation, waste pack infestation, I should say. Now, uh, if we check under history, we can see when the last one was. So this current one is happening at day 754. The one before that was, was it, 737. 17 days? So yeah, 17 days between those two. And the next one before that is, or is it this one over here? That was actually on the 22nd. So 22nd to the 37th. So it's like 15 days seems to be the absolute minimum time we can find so far between waste pack infestations. So we're going to get these regularly considering the amount of toxic waste we have. But I believe the way it works now is we could have all this toxic waste degrade right now and we wouldn't get another uh, waste pack infestation at this moment because, well, we've already just got one now. There seems to be a cool down timer on this. Uh, we're going to have to keep people out of here from now on, I think. Uh, whoa. Oh, what I should have done is put a door here. We could X that out. Put a door here, X that out so our people couldn't get in this section. I'm instead going to have to make a custom zone. So, we have made a zone that avoids this area in here. It's called avoid infestation for obvious reasons. So no one should go close to that. Uh, I think I might want to move Tiberius back. Go on, Tiberius, get out of there for a minute. Just fall back for now. Let's see what happens. Right. So I think... Yeah, I'm going to change the zone slightly, but I think we should be able to avoid going in here and triggering any of these. Hopefully the traders come in through this section, the bad guys come in through this section, and they'll have to fight off a bunch of angry, angry, angry bugs. Oh, and we have finally knocked out Cataphract Armor. That is good to know. I'm kind of getting used to this research screen. I know it's all the same research that there, but it just, it just, it feels odd trying to adapt to this newer looking one. Yeah, the research speed is still pretty fast, even if one of our people does have massive brain damage. All right, uh, we've got pretty much everything we want now, though I do want to get some turrets up, so we're going to knock out uranium slug turrets while we're at it. And we've also got the rocket swarm launchers. I think we can do some fun stuff down here, though we might have to make some changes. This insect infestation thing is, um, it's an interesting defensive addition. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. Oh, which reminds me, that quest, where is it? Spectacle of insects. I say we take it. Uh, Alex is fully sci focused up. Yeah, everyone's fully sci focused up. I say we accept this quest. Is everyone fully rested? I think Vaffel needs a meal. Yeah, they're consuming a fine meal right now. Once Vaffel has done that, what we can do is accept that quest and then see about murdering the lot of them. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Now, who are we going to give the honor to is the question.
It's either Groovy Beats or Simon. Both of them are going to be getting at least level one of the Empire. Simon's probably going to go further. So I think the six points can go to Groovy Beats. Namely because that'll get them just the one level they need and then they're done and all the rest can start going to Simon after that. Hmm. Okay, troopers have arrived. Oh, we get a couple of troopers to help with this. Well, oh. More than a couple. One, two, three, four, five. Six of them. Right, I'm going to have to change a bunch of things. I don't want them doing any jobs that, you know, require brains. Oh, we reassigned everyone to a proper schedule. We also cha- Oh, actually, we didn't put them to make sure they stay out of the bug area. Uh, we've also set them all up to work so that they won't do anything but maybe some stone smashing and hauling and things. We don't want them doing anything crazy. And an infestation seemed to have spawned exactly where we thought it would. That's third line from the end. That is a, a perfect location. Let's get a team together and go smash it. Uh, I figure we break down this door here and we have a bunch of extra people to help out right now. Yeah, let's go take care of this. Well, it's about to start spawning now. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty minor. And this is the problem we've got with them. They're going to start smashing the walls, uh, which I don't like. Uh, we'll send Waffle in because I need you to stir them up. And yeah, keep that door open. Keep that door open. Hey, Waffle, uh, oh yeah, you can't go there because this is in the way. Fight, well, well, oh my god, it's going to take forever. Uh, yeah, let's, okay, I'll, I think I'll fast forward this a bit, the whole run around. But this is why I've left some of this area in the home zone. You see, we got to get people in there to repair all the stuff they're going to smash up and destroy every time they spawn in. But in between normal infestations, we should have 20 days. We could, of course, burn everything in here, but that would also burn all the waste packs and that would also destroy all the insect jelly. We kind of want to keep the meat as well so that we can make more meals. Uh, you know what, Jamis? You can go back to making meals again. We should be just about coming up on stirring them up. Uh, in fact, the easiest way to do this is let's grab one of those. No point going to the mountain when the mountain can come to us. Yeah, that stirred them up. Uh, you are death in 10 hours. No, no, no. Hit him again. Perfect. Ah, Waffle, just run away. Oh, I almost kind of want to stay and kill that little bug, but it's not worth the effort. All right. Uh, cannot go there. Well, yeah, fine. We'll put you to there, and then we'll get you back in. Assuming they keep up the chase. I'm doing this wrong. I know it. I know it. I know what I should be doing. Yep. That's what I should be doing. We should be deconstructing the walls so that we get a shorter direction through. That way we get the enemies out and we don't have to worry about any of this. Should be fairly quick. Ooh. Yeah, nope, 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 nope. Stay still. Stay still. And we'll put you back to there. Perfect. And uh, then we bring them back to here. We set that to no one's allowed in. We set that to no one's allowed in. No, 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 no. I know you want to go in there and get yourselves killed. You guys are you're really motivated on doing that. I understand. But we're not doing that today. Okay. Everyone there. And it should just be a case of lining up and doing our normal kill boxy stuff. Uh, let's give a little bit of focus to Waffle. And then on top of that, we'll give them... Oh, invisibility as well. Wow, they pushed through way too fast. Was not seeing that coming. Uh, that's a problem. Uh, Alex, I'm going to need you to do a wall raise. Oh, no, I put that in the wrong spot. In that case, we're going to do a wall raise right there. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's too many. <sighs> okay. That bought us some time. I should maybe have been a little bit more cautious there. Waffle. Oh, 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 oh. Hold that door. Uh, you. Get over here. Perfect. Yeah, they've got nuts in there. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh. Fine. So for this next bit, uh, we are going to try this slightly differently. Uh, first off, we're going to smash some of these walls up. Okay. Everyone back in here. Uh, perfection. 
Eh, some people can't shoot. Why not? Go here. You can go here. We're putting Waffle forward a bit, uh, but we're not putting them in a the doorway. Putting them in a the doorway is bad. And we should probably invisibilize them a little bit as well. Nice. And then we'll just throw down a quick Berserk Pulse just to soften them up. Yeah, right about there should be grand. This is one of the reasons we left a three-tile gap here. In fact, we might have should have left maybe a fourth, but I really wanted to make sure that we had plenty of space in here. And that should be the end of it, though. It's going to be a case of going through here, grinding out the last of them, and uh, repairing all the damage they did. We'll have to deconstruct walls all the way along. So this has got to go, this has got to go, this has got to go. And that'll allow us to repair and replace everything that's gone down in here. Yeah, this was a good learning experience. I'm glad this is one of the smaller ones. We're going to need to keep Waffle jammed in further, and we're going to remove that door. That door, if someone stands in it, they have the potential to get friendly fired. We don't want that. So, yeah, I think we'll move that door one... Oh, actually, no. We'll get rid of the door entirely. And where's the rest of them? Oh, come on. Fine. I'll go in and kill a lot of you. And there goes the insect infestation. Perfect. Now we just got to take out all this insect jelly and all of this tasty, tasty meat. We are going to be, was it Pandemonium Meals, I believe it was, or Pandemonium Survival Meals? Uh, pods have arrived. Excellent. What was, what did we get out of these? I can't even remember. Some gold and some plasteel. Yeah, we, we don't really care. Uh, thanks for everything. Well, while we fix this up, our friends are leaving with a few minor complaints, like <laughs> rot, rot stink exposure major and initial toxic buildup. Uh, we may have been hanging them around some bad places. Namely, they had to go through here to get in and out. And, uh, well, this entire sector over here is almost radioactive with toxic waste. I mean, it happened. All right, uh, repair-wise, it's all going ahead. Once this is all repaired up, we need to start replacing the walls. Do not want to start the repairs, or want to, just want to start walling up just yet? It's going to take a few minutes. This makes me kind of nervous because right now an infestation could happen anywhere, and this was a sort of a, whatchamacallit, this was a quest infestation, so I don't know if that resets the mountain infestation timer. Oh well, not going to worry about it. What I'm more concerned about is this giant pool of insects here just waiting to hatch. This makes me nervous. Normally I kill everything on a map, so leaving this here just feels wrong somehow. Can we get another one of these while this is here? Like if we wait 15 days and another waste pack infestation happens, will it just happen right on top of this one? Or will it happen like, oh, let's not worry about it. We'll worry about it later, if and when it happens. Well, time for a Manhunter pack. Uh, rhinos. We got 52 rhinos. <laughs> It's fine, it's just more meat for the fridge that we can't use fast enough. I think we're going to need more mushrooms, uh, and I might even need to make some actual crop bots. Though, I'm worried that the second generation we won't have enough bandwidth for all of their parents to be turned into bots. Uh, that we can get, we can get Sonic and turn them into it. You know what, we'll worry about that in a minute. Uh, we're also starting to wall in this section again so that we can have a proper, a bait room for our infestations. However, right now it's still a little bit wide open. Makes me nervous, but it's fine. It's fine. We're going to have to kill the rhinos. And the thing is, I don't know if the rhinos will set these off. I don't think so. As far as I'm aware, rhinos and mega spiders are animals and mega spiders. They're, they're all on the same team. They don't care. You know, nature against the man and all that thing. So, hey, what's red over there? What the? Beating out in seven hours. That's fine. What hit you? Oh, it must have been some of the newbies we had around the place. All right, we will get the team together. We will get them into... Uh, what's, what's this called again? Ah, uh, yes. The Canyon of Carnage, I believe, was one of the names that was come up for it. All right. Well, once everyone arrives at the Valley of Death, we'll sort these uh, these rhinos out. Okay. Here they come. Uh, for those of you who missed it, this is uh, sort of a lightning trap. Uh, Reaper's Rift here is designed with a roof over the entire area with only this section left unroofed. That means when we call down a lightning storm, it can only strike in one location because it has to hit the ground. It won't land on roofs for some reason. Uh, probably something to do with game balance. Who knows? So what'll happen is we'll get Alex to cause in a lightning storm. And in fact, we're going to get them to call in a second one shortly afterwards. And as you can see, all the lightning strikes are going to land in there. Uh, that seems to be bad for anyone who might be standing in there. And uh, we're going to give them a invisibility. And then, in fact, we're going to get them to give themselves focus. Yep. And there you go. Now we have a lightning valley where, well, things just get shot like crazy, and then they got lightning storms coming on top of them. In fact, let's throw down another lightning storm. It's more fun that way. Oh, Zoffel is getting pushed back out of the way by the sheer quantity of enemies. Yeah, that's sort of a thing that'll happen. 
uh, Groovy's mom is coming along to back them up. Their job is to stand behind them and prevent them from getting pushed out of the way. Oh my god, how many is there? 49. Well, there's not going to be money for much longer. All right, Waffle, what are we looking at? Actually, get rid of the roof so it looks slightly better. Uh, oop, invisibility is wearing off on you. I must say, invisibility with a melee blocker is just totally broken. Oh, and raining lightning down on top of your enemies is sort of fun. You know what, let's just throw in a few more lightning storms. Uh, is that four? Okay, that's four lightning storms. How many can we get down, I wonder? Let's do a five. Uh, yeah, that seems to work pretty good. <laughs> uh. Okay, Waffle, let's, uh, oh. Let's be careful. We don't want Waffle getting any damage done to them or anything more than necessary. Uh, another lightning storm? Why, yes. Yes, I think we will. That'll be six lightning storms. Thank you very much. Um. Oh, my God. Well, it's working. Waffle, uh, you seem to be doing pretty good, buddy. Their dodge is absolutely incredible. Like, they've only got to hit once so far. Or actually, no, twice. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, wait, there's one still standing. Never mind. Okay, then. So, um, yep, yeah, I'm going to call this absolutely hilariously fun. For melee killing, this thing is just absolutely unstoppable. I mean, you don't need help with melee killing as it is, but getting to kill them with lightning instead of grenades, still an awful, awful fun time. So for the death of 50 plus rhinos, we're looking at uh, seven points of damage. Oof. I might want to leave more space in here because the lightning bolts seem to take out corner walls. Ow. Yeah, they definitely do seem to like the walls. Okay, so maybe don't have that there? Yeah, we'll leave out that section. Well, we're cleaning up that mess. We've still got all of these bugs to deal with, but we'll worry about them later. For now, we've got an exotic goods trader coming by, which is good because for some reason I bought 40 medicine and it seems to have disappeared. It just vanished and never showed up. We sort of need that to fix epilogue. Their brain is still sort of mangle scared. Uh, Alex, uh, exotic goods traders come by. I would like you to call them whenever your lesson is over. What are you even teaching them? Teaching them about animals. Actually, that, that might work. You're pretty decent at it. Ah, and it is your kid. That actually works out quite nicely. All right, let's grab me some sweet, sweet medicine. Please tell me. Yes, Glitter World. We'll take it all. You know what? We'll grab some advanced components while we're here. Why not? Plus, it gets to spend some of that insect jelly we're just never going to eat anyway. Our people are much happier eating insects and fungus. I uh, don't, don't ask. All right, how are we looking over here? Actually, pretty good. We're almost done. What are you doing? You're wandering. Why? Why would you wander back there? It drives me mental that they come through this late location. It's literally as far as they can get away from everything else. I'd zone them out of here, but we kind of need them for some things. Right, once though, right, once that's walled back up, we're not allowing anyone else back in here. We're going to wall this in, take everyone out. The door will be locked. It'll be finished. Oh, while this is going on, we did manage to pick up a prisoner on one of our caravans, and it's time we put them into storage before they do a something like having a mental break. So what I like to do to put them into storage is normally you have to knock them unconscious. Instead, I just sort of hemogen drain them twice. Uh, prioritize operating. If you hemogen drain them twice, you get moderate blood loss, then extreme blood loss. It doesn't actually kill them, it just knocks them unconscious. And then we can... What the hell? I don't want you to finish them off. I want you to carry them to the crypto sleep casket. There you go. Boom. Carries them to a crispo sleep casket, and we can save them up until a royal trader, royal tribute collector comes by. We've already got three people in storage. And to wake them up, all we do is crap, uh, crank them out of there. And then put in a jab of hemogen into them. Good to go. Up and about like in no time and off they go. Now, Epilogue here needs to get their brain fixed. So we should stick them into the Biosculptor pod. But I'm curious to see if they can, their gene coma will wear off in there. So we're going to put them together, a little template I loaded up for them. This one here gives them great intellect, which was, you know, already great. Uh, non senescent so they stop aging. Um... Oh, wait, no, they never get chronic illnesses, damn it. Oh, ageless, yes. So they don't age anymore, which means they should stop demanding to go into age reversal all the time. Or they will eventually by the time we knock them down at 20, one or the other. Uh, they don't get carcinomas or anything like that, so we can give them a stomach. We gave them psychite dependency, robust, low sleep, so they can spend more time researching. Dark vision to blend in with everyone else. Very unattractive and kind instinct because we like to package them up. And it keeps their complexity reasonably low. We don't have to do anything too crazy with them. And it just requires two archite capsules. Uh, so, yes, that's that's... Combine that, and at the same time, I think we need to give them a nuclear stomach. 
which reminds me I should make one of those. Though I think we will have to hold off slightly on Epilogue's uh, improvements just until Alex comes out of death rest. Considering how low our damage output is, has proven by, well, those 90 pirates or something that almost messed us up, I think we should keep more people out. Though then again, we do have those mega spiders to defend us. So if that messes up, we'll have to kill them. So, you know what? No, no, no. Let's be very cautious. We'll wait until Alex is finished with her death nap. Then Epilogue can get a gene implant, a nuclear stomach, and then go in for their bioregeneration for eight days. And we still got a day left on Alex's death rest. Uh, at the same time, we've colored in our temple. The two orange stripes are to do with Jamus. The two green are for Vaffel. The two pink are for Alex. The two red are for Tiberius. The two blue are for Jason. And the last gray one is for Epilogue. I figure it's their favorite color. So, you know, we'll include them in it. They're, they've been a very valuable member of the community, even if half their brain is gone right now. That that can be fixed. Oh, speak of the devil. Their ears must be burning. Anyway. Oh, what the hell? People of Lear have changed from 12 to 10. Wait, are the people we care about or not? I can never remember. No, 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 it's the Land Wilter ones we actually care about, so never mind. All right, so I figure this is a nice temple. It's the, the Power Ranger temple. You know, it'd be fine. Uh, this uh, goes, I tried to use the same colors as the ones we used in their bedrooms, and I think I got it pretty close. So honestly, the colors get kind of iffy for me. All right, uh, that still leaves Epilogue's uh, Gene Enhancements and Solar Flare. Oh, is that going to mess up your death resting? Hmm. We'll find out. Okay, time for Epilogue's final upgrades. Uh, one, nuclear stomach. And... Done. Order an implantation instead. Uh, give it into Epilogue. Yes, we will confirm. Xenogerm implantation ordered. Uh, once that's done, in fact, Tiberius, you should be able to get around to it. Should you? Yep, there you go. You'll grab a couple... You okay, buddy? Seem to be having a bit of a problem there. He's freaking out. He's freaking out, man. All right. Okay, you kid. I'm going to get you to, to clean up the mess in there. What the hell is going on? Okay. Right. Someone's just having a freak out. All right, we had to get them to move a bit. I think there was something wrong with the beds. I moved everything around, but once I put them here, they seem to be able to do it now. I I don't know. There was something in the way blocking them. Whatever. Uh, Xenogerm implantation complete. 1.8 days xenogenic coma. Excellent. Now they're ageless and all sorts of stuff. Now all we've got to do is stick them into their pod. Begin bioregeneration cycle. Uh... Yeah, confirm it, and then you can do it. Carry to bioregeneration cycle. Yes, confirm. Go for it. Uh, unless you want to grab something else first. No, no, come on. All right, so the hope would be here that while they're in there, that xeno germination coma would wear off. If it does, great. If it doesn't, so what? Uh, they're going to be in there for 8.7 days. Ah, beautiful. Mechanoid cluster. Well, that's going to be interesting. Just don't land in the far left of our base and we're grand. Yeah, we're at, we're at like twice the uh, the threat scale factor. Something to be said for having five super pawns and a, well, a, a head researcher. All right then. So where are you landing? Where... Ooh, that is really pathetic. It's a toxic spewer. Do we care? I'm not sure we care about the toxic spewer. I'm not even sure this would do very well against the bugs. Uh, we could mortar them, I suppose, to trigger them. But this just seems like a waste of time. Huh. I think we're just going to leave them there. They're not really a threat to us, and that toxic spear going off in nine days doesn't bother me either. We can just bring all the animals back inside. Yeah, you can just stay there. Never mind. In fact, I think I'm quite out of time for today. Ooh, and Vaffel, Vaffel, uh, standing in this corridor fighting, you know... Streams of wild animals and bugs while lightning rains down from the sky. Uh, I, I was looking for, well, people were going, they'd love to see art of that. So I went on to those uh, AI art generation things. I know there's some controversy over those things. There's wonderful pictures you can see of them generating beautiful images. But yeah, they're pretty terrible. From what I can see, unless you know what keywords to use or unless you don't hit the right jackpot, they're uh, mediocre at best. So I've got a few pictures there you can see. That's, that's me trying to get keywords up to you know, get something that looks like Waffle fighting a bunch of bugs and elephants in a tunnel while lightning and fire goes everywhere. You just, I, I can't make it work very well. I mean, some of these pictures do look pretty awesome, to be honest, but they're not really incredible. What I consider them more is uh, just kind of a fun 
thing for now. But yeah, I think the technology seems kind of dangerous, but not here to worry about that. What I'm here to worry about is getting them out of here, getting our kids raised up, and getting the second generation armed and equipped. They're only eight. We need to get them to 13. You guys need to, like, start growing faster or something. Once you're 13, we can give you guns, armor. We've even got the cataphract armor research. Maybe we should start, actually, we should start producing their armor and weapons now. But that, that will be for the next episode. I, uh, hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Thank you.